Hi, Ken Hunter here with YPN Rocky Mountain. I'm here with Ed Ormsby, who's the Executive Director at Small Business Center at Edgecombe Community College. Ed, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ken. Now, you've got a lot of workshops coming up here in the fall. Uh, you operate two campuses, Edgecombe operates two campuses, and you provide workshops at both. We're going to talk in this segment about the workshop that you're offering at your main campus in Tarboro. And it's a really nice campus. I had a chance to meet with you a couple of weeks ago and, and tour the facility. Uh, first, I want to talk about the small, the new business development series that you offer. It's a six-part series of classes, and it's going to start up on September the 9th. Why don't you kind of briefly talk a little bit about this program? Okay, Ken. The new uh, business development series is for, designed for individuals who are considering starting a new business but really don't know where to start. Uh, our sessions are made up of five seminars, how to start a new business, financing a new business, writing a business plan, which is the key to a new business success in my opinion, advertising and marketing, uh, licenses, record keeping, and taxes. And we also do one on introduction to grant writing for folks interested in uh, starting a nonprofit business. Okay, sounds great. And again, these workshops will start on September the 9th. They will be on every other Thursday uh, at the Tarboro campus. They're from 6 to 9. Starts off with how to start a new business, then how to write a business plan on September 23rd, how to finance a business on October the 7th, how to market on October the 21st, record keeping and tax issues on November the 4th, and then introduction to grant writing, which is an interesting class that you add as well, a very important one, on November the 18th. And all of these are going to be in the Fleming Building, room 173, which is close to your office in the Small Business Center. And again, all of them are free. That is correct. correct yeah. And all that they need to do in order to uh, register for one of these workshops, what do they need to do? Well, they can either register online at smallbusiness.edgecombe.edu slash register online, or they can call me at 252-823-5166, extension 269. I, I want to mention that uh, the, you've all just changed your website, smallbusiness.edgecomb.edu, and I had a chance to visit it recently. It's a really nice site. You have a blog there. We're offering some tips and such, as well as information on all the different programs that you offer through the center. Uh, now going over to the Empowerment Series, Small Business Empowerment Series. You have uh, six workshops scheduled this fall there. Uh, they're all on Thursday nights. And uh, those start up on September 16th uh, with a very nice workshop that is very important in my mind, and that is sales for people who don't like to sell. Why don't you talk a little bit about that one in particular? Start. Okay, Ken, let me start by saying uh, the Tarboro uh, Small Business Empowerment Series will be held in the afternoons from 3 until 6, okay. rather than in the, in the evenings. Sales for people who don't like to sell. Most people don't realize that everyone is a salesperson. You're selling all the time. You may think you don't like to sell, but you're doing it. Once you discover how easy it is to develop those skills that you really already have, it makes the sales process a whole lot, a whole lot easier. Absolutely. And again, that's going to be on September the 16th. Now on September the 30th, two weeks after that, you're offering a workshop, Overpowering Your Competition. This seminar is designed for existing business owners, managers, employees, as well as those who are interested in starting a new business. If you're going to start a new business, some of your business is going to have to come from competition. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand your competition's strengths and at least match them, and you have to understand his weaknesses and surpass those. Absolutely. And again, this is going to be on September the 30th. On October the 14th, using social media to find new customers. Social media has pretty much, I guess, become the, the, the big thing for a lot of businesses to try to wrap their heads around. How will this help them in dealing with this topic? Ken, most people don't realize that social uh, media sites such as Facebook and Twitter uh, are being used to generate new business, to get their message out. Uh, to the consumer. You also have LinkedIn, which is a professional uh, social media site uh, just for businesses. But it's become so, so important, especially in these last couple of years, uh, as a marketing tool. Absolutely. Now, again, all these workshops we're talking about during this segment are free. So there's no cost to any of these. 
uh, for residents here in the area. On October the 28th, you're going to offer a workshop that I'm probably of interest to a lot of people, dealing with difficult people. Show me one person that doesn't deal with uh, difficult people, <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure that I believe them, but one of the most important things that you have to recognize when you're dealing with a difficult person is what's motivating them to act the way they do. If you can understand why they are acting the way they are, then you can find relatively easy and comfortable ways to deal with them. Absolutely. Now, you got two more coming up on November the 11th. Bashful to Bold, Uncovering the Leader in You. Just like selling, everyone is a leader. They may be a good leader, they may be a bad leader. They be, may be leading people in the wrong direction, or they may be leading people in the right direction. Mm -hmm. This particular seminar is designed to help all individuals harness their leadership powers in a positive direction. Okay, that sounds great. And last but not least, on December the 2nd, understanding and working with different ages and generations. I mean, there, you, could, you could have an entire college degree dedicated to this. How do you try to get your hand around it in a three-hour session? Well, you have to understand that the motivations of the young and the motivations of the olders uh, are different. Uh, music, for example. Today, mm -hmm. you have iPods. Uh, you can put thousands of songs on uh, on a, a little uh, radio-type thing. About the size of yeah. This. yeah, that you can put in your pocket. Uh, I asked uh, some people in their 40s a couple of weeks ago if they'd ever seen a 33 and a third RPM record, and they said no. Are you serious? I am serious. So I, I can. I remember 78s. I mean, I, I my, my my family. I mean, of course, that, granted, that's not my generation. I mean, they were phasing out 45s when I was a kid, but uh, I remember at least a little bit about records. But uh, there is a difference uh, if you're marketing to the young, to the middle aged and to the older, and you have to understand what their motivations are. Well, sounds wonderful. Again, all these workshops are free. The last couple of workshops we've been talking about are from 3 to 6 p.m. Again, these are all in Tarboro at the main campus in the Fleming Building, room 173. And if you'd like to register, you can call Ed directly at 252-823-5166, extension 269, or you can visit their website, smallbusiness.edgecomb.edu. Ed, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ken.